Hey everybody, it's me. Um, it's been a week since my last uh, check-in, and I figured I just finished my practice for the day, so I thought I'd uh, do a quick little um, schnitzel here while I'm warmed up. Um, so I spent the entire week practicing basically just Maggie in the Woods. Um, I got a little bit better. I think there's still just a my bowing's just going to take a long time to improve. Um, so I've decided that after spending two weeks practicing the same tune, um, which is basically just the same, it's just like eight bars over and over again, um, that I would uh, move on to the next tune to today, which was Terry Tian's Polka. Um, so the first two songs that they taught have been Polkas, uh, Maggie in the Woods, Terry Tian's. Um, and I figured I'd just show you what I did today. And go from there. So, also, something that happened today that was weird. Uh, I lost, or one of the strings on my bow snapped. I don't know if that just means I had too much tension on it, or maybe I snagged on something when I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, that would call me off guard. Alright, so right now I've got my uh, thing on it since I'm practicing. Um, I do take it off when I practice, but for now, let's just see. See Maggie in the woods. No, I got a tune already. Maybe I just need to re-rouse on the bow or something. So, it, it's a little bit better. Uh, I am still um, accidentally bowing two strings at one time. Usually when I get onto this, um, I don't lift up enough with my elbow to properly shift onto this next string. I usually just do it with my wrist. It's a habit I'm trying to break. So... You can hear it happening, the squealing. That's what happens when you play two strings at once and only one has sufficient pressure. So what's happening here is, see if I can zoom in. I am... So I've got fingers on this first string, this is the E string out here. And I'm playing this note, then this note. So that's what's supposed to happen for the most part. Each note gets played separately, so it should be. But what ends up happening is. So right here, I don't know if you can see it very well with this, but basically this is the E string. I'm about to play the A string. And this is catching on the E string because I'm not lifting it up high enough. So I need to make sure that I practice hitting the right planes. Um, but yeah, that's Maggie in the Woods. Um, and the mistakes I noticed that I'm making on it. I'm sure there are others. Uh, actually, there is another one. It's um, um, I've been doing what it's actually supposed to be. It's something I'd work on. Um, I keep forgetting to move my uh, third finger, my ring finger, over uh, to the G or to the uh, D string when I'm doing it. So just other things to keep working on as time goes by. 
But then I switched over to Terry T. Hands, which, let me see if I can remember how the tune goes. quite where that's happening. I think it's right there. So, that's what I've learned of Terry TN so far. I think that's pretty much the entire song, unless I missed a bar because I started talking. Uh, or missed a phrase because I started talking. But... That's what I learned today, and I'll keep practicing that for the next couple weeks, probably, until it gets to be a little bit more smooth and a little less screechy. Um, hopefully, everything just becomes less screechy over time as I stop accidentally playing two strings at once and such, and just hopefully eventually start, with enough mindful practice, playing the right strings and only the right strings. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. That's what I did this week and today. Um, thanks for checking in, guys, and I hope to talk to you guys next week. Bye.